Okay, everybody, I'm back. I got a haul to share. This will probably be my longest haul I've ever posted on YouTube. So bear with me and let's get going. Uh, the first, I went to Tampa Bay Comic Con last weekend. Uh, well, last Friday. I took, I took Friday off from work. I have friends that live there, drove down Thursday night, was there Friday the second the doors opened and started walking around to see what I could find. Uh, I went years ago on a Saturday, didn't find crap, I was annoyed, pissed off, and I said if I was ever going to go back again, it needed to be on a Friday, right when they open, so I could hunt and find stuff uh, that I like. So that's what I did, and that's what I found. But, we're just going to start off with an eBay purchase. This here is Sunfire, Sunfire Big Hero 6, number one. I wanted it for a while. Uh, found it for $8, including shipping on eBay. Bought it right away. Happy. Thought it was a good purchase. Also, after I'll start with, I went to a couple shops uh, in, in the Tampa Bay area. Found some interesting stuff that I was not expecting to find, so that was kind of good. Like this one. This was just sitting there in their blank in their blank box. $5. Thor number one. First appearance of Jane Fawcett as Thor. Uh, $5, yeah, I'll, I'll buy that one. This was also another nice find, cost me $3.50. Star Wars number 81. Um, it's in really pretty good condition, very happy with it. One I've always wanted, never wanted to pay big money for it, just sitting there. Um, they had some other Star Wars around that same price, nothing else major, but uh, looking back, I kind of wish I went and, and, and did that. Also, here's another $3.51. Batman, ignore the price. Uh, Batman number 27, uh, it's a variant, a new 52. And everything else here where is a dollar, nor pricing, it's just, uh, they had like a dollar sale, so I went and got it. I found Bat Batman 685, Batman 686, uh, Thor number five variant. Um, this one I was on my list. I was happy to find Warp number five. It's the cameo appearance of Grimjack. Uh, Master of Kung Fu number 100. Just an anniversary issue. Kind of fit into that uh, kick there a little bit. Whenever I see these, if I don't have it, or even I do have it, lots of times I buy it. I'm just, I just like them. The Spoof Comics, Blood Skirt number one. Spoofing Blood Bloodshot. Um, also, some more Batman New 52s for a dollar. Number five. Number six. And number seven, and this was probably the dollar find of the stores, Batman 666 for a dollar. So those were the, was the Tampa Bay stores I went to, I think I only went to two. Um, the next section here, these cost not a dollar. This was the one I spent the most money on, it's the Eternals Volume 2. Uh, it's a trade paperback. I spent cover price on it. It was $25. Um, they're going for probably about twice that. Um, I've even seen sales close to $100 for this book. But uh, it's more of the eternal type. It's, it's, maybe it's something I could flip and help cover some costs, I thought. So we'll see. I don't know. I got it. Um, that was the most expensive book I bought at the show, and it wasn't even really for the PC. Now, the next section here of books... I'm going to show. I bought from this one stand. I'm going through books. I see the guy to the left of me, and he has the Black Widow J.G. Jones number one variant and had a $5 price tag on it. And I was mad. I was like, damn it, why couldn't I find that one? Well, the guy who, the, uh, who owns the booth says, hey, look, that one's mispriced to the guy because he just had it there sitting on top. That's mispriced, and uh, it's not $5. Well, this is said the customer got pissed off and walked off, and of course the the owner of the booth didn't care because he knows he can get more money for it. Um, but uh, I was nervous going through stuff, uh, so I got a little pile going, and then his girlfriend or wife or whoever he was with uh, was also manning the booth with him. I made sure I went to her and gave her the money. <laughs> so uh, that's what I did. I found this one, Flash uh, Rebirth number six, first full appearance of Godspeed. It was two dollars. I have not been. I've been looking for this book in the back issue bins at every store I go to, and I never find it. It's never there. Or if it's there, they want like fifteen dollars, which I definitely do not want to pay. 
So for $2, I felt that was a good deal. Also, these were the $2 box, uh, some Ghost Rider 28. I got three of them from this guy. No, nope, just two of them from this guy. And um, those were $2 a piece as well. Uh, first appearance of Midnight Sun, first appearance of Lilith. These are bagged in their um, issue there. So I think there's a poster inside and stuff like that in the bag. So they're still bagged. And um, so that was pretty good. Um, this one was $10, but it's it's funny. He also had, he had like three or four of them in the box and they were $10 each, but this was the one that had the newsstand. So I, I it's, it's, it's worth more than 10 being the newsstand. And I felt that was a good buy. So I bought it. Also this one here was $5. Uh, it goes for a little bit more than that, being that it's Crush's first appearance in a dream sequence. It definitely, so it's kind of the first appearance of Crush. Um, and it, it's been going for like 20, 30 bucks right now online. Um, and for $5, it was a good deal. This was the one I was most happy to find. It is the, uh, sorry about the phone there. Uh, it is the first uh, sorry, this one here is the Comic Reader 212. It has a panel in it of Beta Ray Bill uh, that predates Thor 337. So it's the cover of Thor 337, uh, kind of like a preview in it. it. It goes for like 50 bucks right now. Bad side on this one is it's got some spottings, as you can see, and it's got some some cuts in it are missing pieces a little bit on the cover so it's definitely a low grade but for five dollars I never see comic readers I'll buy it so I did now um, the 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 guy had a bunch of other comic readers but I didn't want to buy those for five dollars they had um, Maybe if they were $2 each, I probably would have bought a lot more. But for $5 on the comic readers, it just wasn't in play there. Sorry sorry about that uh, phone call there. I'm going to keep this going, though. Uh, Spawn 194. Uh, this was $8. It's It probably goes for about twice that online. Same thing with this one. This was $8. Spawn 265. Uh, this one here was $15. Dark Hawk number 50. I have been looking for this for my whole life, it seems like. You go to the back issues, you go to the Dark Hawk section. Heck, I've seen 49, 47, 48. Never, ever seen number 50. It was $15. That's definitely a good price for it. Uh, I hadn't owned it. I wanted it. I bought it. Now I don't have to worry about finding it. Watch me find it on my next video for like three bucks. Okay, so now the rest of the books in this video, I got about 60 of them. They're a dollar a piece. Now, in this, my strategy here going into the show and what I've made mistakes in the past is I don't stay at one booth. I always feel like I'm missing something on the next booth. I got to keep moving, got to keep moving, got to look, got to look, got to look at the very beginning. I think by doing that, I've left stuff behind as well. So my, my strategy was to go find a booth that I was finding stuff good for a dollar, stay there, check it out, and then move on. So I was at this booth probably for over an hour, and there was even like like a guy or two in front of me before I even got to some of the boxes. So I can only imagine my mind is all over the place of what they got to it before me. But this is what I found. Um, classic X-Men number 35. This is the uh, first appearance, reprints the first appearance of Kitty Pride and Emma Frost. So that was kind of cool. New Teen Titans 99, first appearance of our good friend Arsenal. Found some of these in the dollar box. I'm on a Ghost Rider 28 bagged. These two are bagged. This one is not. I'm definitely on a kick of those. These were just variants I found. I don't know if they're really worth anything, but when you're loading up the box, Adventure Comics 504, 507, 508. I know 515 is worth some money. I don't think these really are, but for a dollar, why not? Marvel Age 89, previews New Warriors. Dark Hawk number one newsstand. Dollar can't beat that. Frey number one, first print. 
I mean, I'll buy that all day. I love Frey. Uh, Spider-Man Classics number one. Uh, this reprints Amazing Spider-Man number, uh, no, Amazing Fantasy 15. Uh, so it's it's from the 90s, this, this comic, but uh, why not? Green Lantern number 36, DCU variant. I am definitely a sucker for Green Lantern DC Universe variants. I don't know why. I just like them. Heroes for Hire number one. That's a cool cover. I like it. Uh, more dollar books, more dollar books. We have Ghost Rider 21. Uh, the guy that becomes vengeance is his first appearance. Spider Woman number five. It's a variant. No idea if it's worth anything, but why not? When you're filling the boxes, trying to make things happen. Spider Man Classic number one. That's another one. Sorry, this is out of order a little bit here. Uh, Uncanny X Men 267. Second appearance of Gambit. Apparently, I found three of them. Uh, Marvel Knights Wave 2. It's got like the preview and some sketches of the new Black Widow. Predates Inhumans number 5. Why not? Wonder Woman 16, New 52 variant. I think it's a 1 in 25. It's a crappy cover for sure, but uh, whatever. This book here, I remember when I was going through, this was like one of the first ones I found. I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I need to stay at this booth and see what other dollar books I can find. All new Captain America number 1. Sam Wilson as a Falcon. Sam Wilson as Captain America and his own title. Buy this one for a dollar all day long. G.I. Joe America's Elite number five. First professional work of Art Germ. And the inside, that's not an Art Germ cover. Astonishing X-Men number three. First appearance of Abigail Brand. Definitely in a kick for buying these. A next number four. First appearance of American Dream. New Mutants number 87. Second print. First cable. Marvel Age number six. Uh, it's got the Thor uh, Beta Ray Bill uh, picture in it that predates Thor 337. I love this cover. Actually, I paid $5 for it probably about a year ago. But uh, X-Force number 10, uh, it's a variant. Got it. These, just happy to get. Now I've completed my Preacher run. I need a number 25 and number 28. So my Preacher run is all full. And uh, my goal was to find them for a dollar. So I bought probably... Most of the non-key issues uh, for a dollar from Preacher, so that's a pretty good deal. Incredible Hulk number 12, uh, I think it's the Cameo Devil Hook. I was not paying any more than a dollar, found it. Same thing with Incredible Hook number 13. If I find that one, it'll be for a dollar. Uh, Lobo, 62 for a dollar. That's uh, the, the third to last one of the series, kind of a low print. And Thor, God of Thunder, 25, Cameo of Jane. Foster as Thor. Uh, actually, I bought a couple of these for cover when I was on my uh, Jane Foster Thor trying to find comic books. Okay, I got one more little pile here. Try to finish this one up. We have Blade the Vampire Hunter number eight. Uh, it's a short print. This is going for a good little bit right now. This one, I thought I hit a home run, but when you look at it, the condition is definitely low grade. But Giant Size Defenders, number three, first appearance of Korvac. So I was happy to get that one for a dollar, even if it's low grade. Uh, Justice League, number five, it's a variant, New 52. I just, I, I think I like Justice League, New 52 a lot, but uh, so I got that. Silver Surfer, 63, and Silver Surfer, 64. These have uh, the Black Surfer uh, cameos or tie-ins or something. I don't know, but they were a dollar, so I got them. I've always wanted to collect this run. I definitely didn't want to pay more than a dollar for these. Of course, they don't have any of the key issues, but I'm more than halfway done with the with trying to complete the set now. So I got Marvel number two, Marvel number three, Marvel number four, and Marvel number seven. So five and six, which are the big ones, weren't there, and I still need a number one. But I got all those for a dollar, so I'm good. Uh, Punisher 62. First appearance of the female Punisher as the Punisher, not the character, but first time she dons the suit for a dollar. Thor, 366. This is, I don't know, I'll do some more research. Is this the first time Thor becomes a frog? I don't know. Maybe it was 365. It's a cool cover. It was a dollar. I didn't own it. Why not? Birds of Prey, number nine. Art germ cover. Uh, 
Conan Classics number one reprints Conan number one. Black Widow, Deadly Origins number one. Dollar, why not? Rise of the Midnight Suns number one. Spirit of Vengeance is still bagged. Like I said, I was kind of on a Midnight Suns kick. And I also found number 31 that was still bagged for a dollar. Uh, Groot number four. Back in the day when Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was out, this was the first, I guess, cameo appearance of Baby Groot, and it was pretty popular. Now it's probably not, <laughs> but uh, I, I haven't seen it. You go through the back issue bins, and uh, I, I never see Groot number four is always missing, so it was nice to get for a dollar. Captain Marvel number one. This is the Monica Rambeau Captain Marvel. You never know. Maybe someday. Um, It'll be worth a lot more than a dollar. I can't help myself when I see this one. I always, for a dollar, I always have to buy it. Infinite Crisis number three. This is the first appearance of Jamie Reyes. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 120. I believe this is the first appearance of Cassandra Kane as Batwoman. Young Avengers number two. The New Avengers number 49. This is, I guess, the, the first appearance of the Dark Avengers. Okay, whatever. I think this was the second book I found uh, when I was going through the, the booth. I'm like, okay, I need to stay here and work, find, find more and just uh, not worry about what else is out there. Just focus on what I can find for a dollar. Uh, Batwing number 19, uh, first appearance of Luke Fox, who's going to be in the TV show of Batwoman. Speeding Bolts, Elseworld Stories. See that for a dollar, I'll get it. Ultimate Spider-Man number one, free comic book day, dollar. Awesome Huntress cover, Birds of Prey 57. Daredevil number two, J. Scott Campbell cover. I think it's a variant too. Birds of Prey 11, I found two of these. It's kind of a cool art germ cover. Uh, Doctor Strange 44, has some sort of Venom tie-in character. It was pretty popular there for a little while. New 52 Aquaman number two, first appearance of the Trench King, I think. I'll see these Uncanny X-Men books. I'll buy them all day. Um, Uncanny X-Men 210. Uncanny X-Men 150. Uh, New Mutants 14. Uh, this first appearance of, oh my gosh, Magic. Batman, uh, Dark Knight, Frank Miller, number four, dollar. Uh, we're on the last, probably about four or five here. So actually, it's not too bad. Amazing Spider-Man, annual number 22. First appearance, Speedball. And I was, I was hoping to find a first print because remember a couple videos ago, uh, I thought about the set of Civil War and I was missing number two, but I found a second print of number two for a dollar. I found number one for a dollar and I found number three here. I think this is a variant of Thor. So that's my haul. That's my Tampa Bay comic book haul, Tampa Bay, a couple of Tampa Bay comic book stores. Definitely, all in all, I had a fun trip. Uh, I'm glad I did it. It was fun going through the dollar bins, and um, I didn't really get skunked, and I felt like I got uh, got my money's worth of the time just to go and have fun. So I appreciate sharing. I appreciate uh, showing what I got, and I look forward to uh, posting next week's video as well. Thanks. Bye, guys.